All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to take a look at Casper really quick here. So our head and shoulders pattern, as we pointed out in the last couple of updates, uh, apparently did not play out. We did point out that, you know, if you break over this four area here, let me move this for now. But if we broke over the 398 here, the four, the 382, uh, we would have a case for a bullish push up, which we did. We did break over that neckline. So we're just going to erase that off of the chart. That bearish pattern did not play out. Apparently, um, the bullish pattern played out here because you can see we were in some type of a falling wedge here. Uh, and then we did break to the upside and we're moving up. So Caspa's bullish as long as you stay over this 4-4 here. You're still bullish if you stay over 4. So you could potentially pull back to 4. And then we could still move higher here. Uh, so it looks good right now. You know, we want this thing to go up. We were looking for that pullback down to, you know, the 618, the 200-day EMA. Apparently that's not going to happen right now. So uh, Caspa may be going for a new high here. So let's get this off of the chart really quick here. We're going to draw a new fib to give you guys some prices to watch now that we are, uh, you know, bullish here over that four. So from that high to that low, you can see we're smacking right into the 786 here at 47. So if we can maintain this 47 level and spawn in another candle over that, then the high would be in the next stop here. So if we can get over this 786 on Caspa here, then you can see that we're looking at coming up here and retesting the high which i do think is going to break so you're looking to move up about eight nine percent to five one nine here pretty much five two and then the next stop is going to be five seven so potential 20 percent move still incoming for cast but if it can break over this four seven level uh, so just keep an eye on that and then we'll just cover it again as it goes up and we'll see how high this thing can go but like i said you could still get rejected here at that seven eight six but as long as you stay over this four level here, you can see this 0.5 at two, then we still could end up doing something like that. Uh, and that would still be making a higher high or a higher low rather for a push higher. So just keep an eye on those prices on Caspa. We'll see how it plays out here. It's bullish. So, you know, instead of getting that discount like we wanted, we did get some of the discounts we were looking at for these pullbacks here. We just didn't quite get what we wanted. Uh, but ultimately, you know, we had that nice little double bottom bounce here. We broke over the pattern and we're moving up. So just keep an eye on this 786 to break. I would say when that breaks, that 5-2 top here uh, is probably not going to hold for resistance. I don't see Caspa coming up here and making a potential double top and then just completely falling off the table. It's just too bullish right now. Uh, so we'll leave it at that. The momentum is up. It looks good. Haikanashi, of course, are printing green. No shadow. So the trend up is very strong at the moment. And we'll see how this thing plays out. So with that said, now financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.